Yo, what's up, YouTube? Split the game here. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And man, just thinking about it and all the different opinions of people and all the different you know reviews that you got coming from this game, it, it's just crazy. Like, there's people who think Infinite Warfare from the beta is like, man, this game is trash. I'm not playing this. It's, it's what, uh, poo, whatever. You know, forget that game, garbage. And then you got some people who's like, man, it's the usual COD game. You know, that's probably where I'm at. In the, you know, it's, it's a usual COD game. It's somewhere in the middle. It can be good. It can be bad. We'll just have to see. You know, I start judging around DLC too. You know, that's, that's just me though. But then you got some of the other people out there, you know, that's like, this is a great game. This is probably one of the greatest Call of Duty games out there that it's ever made in the time of Call of Duty. I don't even know. See, I can't even lie to myself that. But I mean, there's those people out there. But yeah, to end my rant. We're going to be talking about the latest news on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and when it comes down to, you know, certain stuff, certain aspects of the game, where whether it's game modes, whether it's guns, whether it's, you know, maps in general, because I know a lot of people was kind of like, you know, ticked with the maps that they had, those close quarter damn maps. And I was, I was kind of mad too, you know, I was kind of mad. But yeah, um, I released some of the cross some news that I probably want to put out to you guys, so let's jump into it. Man, there was a post on Reddit called What We Learned from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's Beta, okay? And Infinity War, they talked about the changes to weapons modes and different other stuff too, like I just said. And, you know, it goes on to talking about shotguns and, you know, how, how they changed it and, you know, the increased damage on shotguns and how the sniper rifles are different, this, this, and this. But, you know, we're going to skip those. We're going we gonna to skip those. So outside of weapon changes and stuff um in game stuff like health regeneration has been reduced um mash making tweaks you know god i don't know if you obviously if you guys are watching this video you probably played the beta but if you had a hard time finding a freaking match like it took me so long to find a match supposedly they fixed it because the um the potential player evaluation was too strict so you know that, that led to longer wait times for matches so the developer already addressed that in the beta they claim so leading to shorter matchmaking times from then and on out but i don't know it was the same thing pretty much for me whether it was the closed beta or the open beta it was still i, I couldn't find a match that good so supposedly on the release in five or four days it should be better okay additionally the developer has fixed a g location problem that has caused some players to be categorized as being in a region where they weren't oh my god i didn't even like that must suck that must suck so bad but yeah, so supposedly that problem is fixed. Another thing that got fixed in the beta was a problem where queening into a join in progress match was taking too long. I never even got a queue, so that's something new. And you can see all the um, beta changes below. There's links and stuff I'm gonna put down in the description box below where you can, you know, you can go to this Reddit post, you can go to the um, article that I'm using to view it and read it all out. I mean, there's tons of different changes that they made towards like weapons, shotguns, like. I'm gonna just read off a little bit. I don't want to read too much because it's like a long article, bro. If I read all this, is we're gonna be sitting here for minutes on minutes on hours on hours. So, <clears throat> just right off the back, I'm um, going into shotguns. Um, shotguns, they have increased the consistency of shotgun damage. Shotgun damage at longer range has been increased slightly. Increased that one shot kill range. Both the Reaver and the Banshee have received a slight bonus to their one trigger pull kill range. <clears throat> Bullet spread at the hip for snipers no longer gets smaller as the player's ADS, you know, aim down sights. Once the scope reaches the player's eye, the bullet spread goes instantly to zero. So, all my people out there who think you gone into Infinite Warfare on the first day, quick scope in the new year, it's going to be much harder. I mean, honestly, comparing, I mean, this little tweak that they made, you know, where it's, you know, the aim assist is not on. I mean, I don't think we had aim assist in Black Ops 3, so it's not really going to affect too many people. But some of those guys who get those lucky kills, I'm guessing with the no scopes where you're, you're aiming in and you get that kill, that's no longer going to be there. So it's going to be much harder probably to get a no scope or a quick scope. So for my snipers out there... The news is not really looking so good for you, okay? They, they've tweaked a lot of stuff for snipers, okay? Like, tracking chips, they tweak different quick draw attachments, they, they, man, I don't think quick draw is gonna be that relevant anymore. So, yeah, if you got, if you run around with a sniper, you're just kind of guys that's like me. I mean, I'm low-key a sniper too, so it's like, you know, it, the game has changed for us. Um, there's change to launchers here and everything, but they don't really, I don't think that's any gonna really affect the game that much you know smgs they didn't i don't see anything for F smgs but perks and rig traits i know you guys uh, if you paid attention to the menus like me when you go to select your perks and stuff in the menus they are they pop up and it's like they show you you can choose this perk 
but there's those counters that can counter this perk you can choose this perk as you know the counter system well the counter system has been updated and certain perks themselves have been updated such as like momentum and mark target uh, like I said before the health regen and spawning is different the health regen time is reduced so I'm not saying you're gonna be necessarily playing on you know hardcore all the time you're just going you know you might just get shot and then probably gotta camp it out for a little while to regen your health because you can't just ramble at this go around it seems like um continuing into like it says economy and stuff to increase salvage gain and mission team so you know your salvage goes up because I, yeah i'm gonna lie it took me so long to get a i don't want to say crypto key but like a rare supply drop from the whatever the black market people that I, I didn't pay attention too much to that crap i just wanted to play the game um score streaks and rigs have been updated they you know the ap 3x and the rca the thor you know all those things they've been upgraded the game modes have been put in and tweaked i'm, I'm pretty sure like in this game in this article it only shows me three game modes or three game modes that we were able to play so i'm pretty sure they have other game modes because i don't think Infin infinity ward is gonna you know only throw out a game that only has three game modes that would be sad as hell so it doesn't really have that much information on like domination your search and destroys i know a lot of people out there looking for search and stuff like that to save it because the tdm and the other game modes we had wasn't really you know what we wanted but yeah this this article is here it's you know there's a lot it has to offer for you i'll link it down below so you guys can do it yourself instead of me just reading stuff off of it for you but yeah to talk about infinite warfare and to talk about you know my opinions as in you know lean away from the news side of things so far just to you know reassess snipers they're gonna be you know they're gonna be different i mean i'm not really worried about that too much because you know for infinite warfare i'm leaning into the competitive side of things so i'm actually gonna be happy it's harder to snipe because i don't need people like how it was in black ops 3 with the dang thermal scopes and stuff i don't need that so me my point of view so far i'll just have to see if these new changes are even worth it but as you know as the information that is here that i presented for you today you can i guess you know make your own opinions on everything and if you do have an opinion on anything in general don't be afraid to drop that down in the comment box below let me know you know i don't want to sit here and plug my channel like most people do you know like comment subscribe i mean if you like the video of course show it if you didn't like the video show it if you want to see more show it you know that's all i'm going to say so yeah i want to keep this video not too long and not too short but I, I, I think we did a good job here talking about the latest news and stuff i'll have everything in the link in the description box below so without no further ado if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Share this video with your family, friends, not strangers, because, you know, there are all types of dangers. Have a great day, guys, and hopefully we can get that double upload out today. We're probably going to be talking about some Titanfall or something else. I don't know. Yeah, so peace.